Assalamu alaikum. I'm here to show you how to recover or fix your BIOS if it gets corrupted during the update. This time we work on an HCB Spectre X360 laptop. Here is the motherboard number and the BIOS chip. It is 128 megabit, means 16 megabyte. You can watch my other video to know how to use CH341A programmer and get the bin file from your BIOS chip. Let's see how easy is it to fix this corrupted BIOS file. As you can see, the file size is 16 megabyte, so the full length should be 1 million in hexadecimal. The file header should contain a descriptor region like this because we are dealing with an Intel platform and this looks like a regular footer not filled by zeros or ifs. I already have the serial number and I need to search for it to confirm if the file is the original or not. Yes. We have the serial number here. It is mentioned more than one time in the file. Now I have to go to HB website and search by the serial number. We found what we are looking for. It is the same model number as in our BIOS file. You have to choose which BIOS version to use. Here is the latest BIOS version and the previous versions are here. This string BVDT will let you know the current BIOS version. Our version is F10. You can choose the same one from here. But this time I will download the latest BIOS version F24. Extract the downloaded file. Then open this one. Press next. Select copy. Then next, press on browse to choose where to extract the file. I choose this path, then press next. Now it is done and we have a BIOS file here. It has the same size as our original BIOS. Also the file, the header, footer and lens are the same. The name of this file is referring to the board ID. We can search for BID in our original file to see if this board ID is correct or not. Yes, it is the same one. The difference is just in the BIOS version. The old version is F10 and the new one is F24. Actually, you can use this file as is and the laptop will work. But the DMI will be empty because this file doesn't contain the serial number, model number, etc. As you can see, there is no serial. But here in the original file, it is there. So I will copy the DMI block. Starting from this offset. Till there. The length is 2000. We will go to the new file and choose best right in the same offset also we have to take the oem windows key here it is just select it like this copy the four lines go to the new file the same offset and best right then save the file now if I search for the serial number in the new file, it should be there. Yes. Also the same thing with the OEM Windows key. Here it is. Do you have to clean the ME region for this file? The answer is no because it is a full BIOS image from the vendor and the ME region should be clean by default. As you can see here, both files have the same SKU and chipset. The ME version has a slight difference because this BIOS version is higher. The file system state in the old file is initialized, means used or not clean. But it is configured in the new file, means clean. So there is no need to do anything else to this file. You can just use it like this and it will fix all your laptop issues. I hope you learned something new this video. And we'll see you soon, insha'Allah. Assalamu alaikum.